Hey everybody, it's Liz and I'm back to share with you another project for Sawcrafter Shop. I am guest design teaming for um, the month of February. If that's even a word, guest design teaming. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. And um, I'm so honored to do so. She's such a sweet friend of mine and she sent me some really cool stuff to play with. So, uh, the project I want to share with you today is a baby themed project, hence the paper you see in front of you. It is the paper pad by Kaiser Craft. It's called Bundle of Joy. It is such a pretty paper pad. I haven't had a chance to use it since I don't really have any babies here. And uh, so I don't really get to do a lot of baby projects, but I thought I would finally get to use it. It's such a pretty collection if you are not familiar with it. It's boy theme and girl theme, so you've got uh, papers from both, um, so you can use them for both. And um, yeah, so it's a really pretty paper. But anyways, let me share with you what I created. And don't forget, for the entire month of February, you can use discount code LizFans to get 10% off your purchase of 30 or more from Sawcrafter Shop. I will put the link below um, to her shop, and I will put the discount code down at the bottom as well, so you guys can use it. Okay? So anyways, I used the paper pad, and I also used the paint that you see behind you. It was just holding the paper pad, but I used um, acrylic paint here, folk art, and this is called Baby Pink, and I also used this one by Americana called Warm White. Now let me share with you the cute little project I created. There it is. Isn't that cute? It's adorable. I think it turned out really cute. This is the little dress shadow box that is in Sawcrafter's shop. It, it, is, it, it is made out of wood. Um, it's very easy to put together. Um, no explanation required really. Very easy to put together. But what I decided to do with this shadow box, I wanted to create a um, shadow box slash birth announcement, if you will. Now, of course, you know, my little baby, Kayla, is nine years old. I, did, I wasn't crafting when she was born. I wish I had. And I would have probably created something like this to announce her birth. And I thought that would be such a cute way to display the little shadow box. So I turned it into, you know, a little birth announcement. I mean, how awesome would this be for, like, a grandma or, you know, um, to, to receive this? I mean, it's such a treasured little memory, I think. So let me share with you here so you guys can take a look. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. I um, painted the entire thing with the warm white first. I wanted to go for a distressed vintage look. And I used the little Vaseline technique. Um, you know, basically you just put on your base coat, you dab Vaseline in, you know, little areas where you want the base coat to come through. And then you apply your top coat. In this case, it was the baby pink. And then you just lightly sand it off, and it reveals the base coat underneath, which is really cool. I always like the way that looks. Very distressed and gives it a vintage look too. And then I just kind of went over some of the corners and the edges with Vintage Photo to just age it a little bit more. And I just really love the distressed look of it. I think it came out really nice. And the inside, of course, it's I used the paper, the paper pad I just showed you. Really pretty, isn't that beautiful in the background? I love it. And this is a sweet little picture of my little Kayla when she was only about six or seven days old. Such a sweetie. And I just, you know, um, resized it of course to make it smaller to fit in this cute little frame that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and it was already you know shabbied up so I didn't have to do anything to that and so I've got the little picture there I fussy cut some little angels from the paper pad and this little banner as well and the banner says welcome baby girl isn't that cute everything is um, inked with the vintage photo to age it hopefully you guys are able to see that and then I've got some little butterflies in the background. You can see that. I wanted a touch of blue. Um, there was too much pink for me, and I just needed another color in there. So I threw the little butterflies in there. And they've got some little pearl centers, and they're all inked with the vintage photo as well. There's some up here as well. They're so cute. I just needed another color, you know. It was just a little too much pink for me. And let me see. Down here, this is the little... I just wanted to create a sort of little, um, almost like a baby room, you know, look. So I added this little rosette trim down at the bottom, uh, sort of like a little carpet, if you will. I've got this cute little uh, uh, dog. I was going to say poodle. I don't know. It kind of reminded me of a poodle. And this is from the miniature section at Hobby Lobby. He's really cute, and I just glued him down here in the corner. It's almost like he's, you know, like a big stuffed animal. And then I made these little... Um, 
uh, blocks here out of li little wood blocks that you can pick up in the uh, wood section at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And I covered them with the paper from the Bundle of Joy collection. I inked all the edges with vintage photo and then I stamped on them using my alpha stamps. So just, you know, A, B, C, pretty simple little wood blocks. And again, I just wanted a touch of that blue instead of too much pink. And then I've got the little baby carriage that I fussy cut out of the collection. I've got a couple of layers of cardboard behind that to give it some dimension. And then I've got this cute little binky and a cute little bottle that I picked up at Hobby Lobby as well in the miniature section. They've got like a little bag and it comes with um, a few little baby things. I only use the bottle and the little binky. I thought that would be cute. And then I wanted, um, you know, a very feminine, girly feel, so I just lined the entire shadow box with pearls. And this is very time-consuming because it's a lot of little itty-bitty pearls, as you can see. And I have to glue each of them one at a time. And down at the bottom, I did do, like, a um, different sizes because of the, the width down here at the bottom of the rim. So I did use um, larger ones and then some medium-sized ones. Now, the only thing... <laughs> I don't know if I'm colorblind or what I think of the lighting. These down here are white, and these are more ivory. I'm not sure, or ivory. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see that, but I noticed it after the fact, but oh well. I think it still looks pretty, and you can hardly tell, so it's okay. And uh, I don't know. I just think it came out really cute and sweet, and I know my mother would have loved something like this to announce, you know, Kayla's arrival. I think it would have been so sweet. And um, I added some ribbon here at the top because I wanted this to be able to hang, you know. So after you receive, like, the birth announcement, how cute to hang it on your wall. And it just kind of, it's like a little decor piece and a little memento of the child. So I think that's really pretty. On the back, I covered it with the paper. And then I added the, um, I guess, you know, like the info. So there's Kayla's info, Kayla Marie Russell, born August 3rd, 2005, and she weighed 8 pounds, 10 ounces, and she measured 20 inches. Yep, she was a big baby, you guys, my biggest one of all, and uh, I think that's really cute. So see, it's like a birth announcement, and I've got the Spellbinders labels one, and I just cut the first one from cardstock, and then the second one from the pattern paper, and I inked all the edges with a vintage photo. Okay, and then I did make this flat because it's going to go up against the wall, you know, when you hang it, so I didn't want a whole lot of dimension back here. So, really pretty. And then I added the cute little baby feet. <laughs> I thought this would be a cute little touch. These are just some stickers that I've had for a really long time. I think back when I was working on Kayla's um, first year album or something like that, so even though I did it like five years later. But these are just these cute little feet, and I thought they were cute, so I did one on each side. So... That's it. It was a really simple project, but I think it turned out so cute. And like I said, it would be such a beautiful little keepsake, you know, announcing the baby's birth. I think it'd be beautiful. I think, Saw, you need to make these in a little boy as well, like a little um, little jumpsuit or something for little boys. I think that would be such a great, um, you know, idea for the birth announcements for boys, too. So... I don't know, I just thought it would be a different way to use the shadow box. I hope you guys like it. I know I had a lot of fun creating it. I think it turned out really cute. And it just reminded me of my little baby girl. She's grown up so fast. I miss her being such a sweet little baby. And, uh, no, but I don't want any more. No, no more. I'm done. <laughs> but this way I can just look at it <laughs> and remember all the sweet times I had with my little one. Anyways, you guys, that is my project for today. I hope you like it. And again, don't forget to check out Ch uh, Sawcrafter Shop. She's got a ton, a ton, a ton of shadow boxes, storage units, chipboard items, you name it. She's got it. And again, for the entire month of February, just use Liz Fans, the discount code, for 10% off your purchase of $30 or more. And that is it for today, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about my little shadow box. And I'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye.